Hi guys. So um, I wanted to talk to you about um, Hallmark and what they have for Halloween. Um, I'm a Hallmark ambassador. It's one of my favorite programs that I've been doing. Um, I've been with them probably for the full five years that I've been um, a blogger. And I always love getting this box and my Christmas box because they're always, um, all the boxes are amazing, but these are my two favorite because they're chock full of great things and um, all my friends um, snatch anything that uh, that I let them at actually. <laughs> so let's talk about um, some of these great um, products, okay? So I haven't, um, I pulled them all out of the box, but I haven't um, tried them yet. So um, I'll be experiencing that um, when I'm showing you. So if I'm surprised or um, not the quickest at figuring it out, you'll know why. Okay, so first off is this, uh, it's a pumpkin. I think it's really cute. Um, it's hard to see the, um, the chevron pattern on it. It's um, really cute. Let me look up. I have a paper here. So I'm going to look at this up and tell you a little bit about it. So it's really a cute little decorative pillow, um, a pumpkin. So it's called the Large Fabric Pumpkin. And it is crafted in a gorgeous herringbone fabric. It really is really nice. It's really cute. I, um, I can't wait to use this for displays um, for my for my direct sales business and and um, in my house it's really good um, it's perfectly sewn darts give this pumpkin its darling shape it's available in medium size see it's really cute I really like that so this is um, kind of um, a classy looking uh, toy um, decorative item um, okay, I got it because you can see him peeking over here, so you're probably wondering what this is. All right, so let's figure this out. So. <laughs> okay, I don't know if you could tell what he was doing there, but he was going up and down. Let me try this again. Okay, I'm going to try him holding as still as possible. Funny. Okay, so that's a little ghost, and obviously you saw what he can do there. So, and he is called the Spooktastic Ghost, and with sound and motion. So that's him. So look for him in your Hallmark store. All of these you can find at, uh, at the Hallmark store or any um, places that have all your Hallmark items. Okay, now this one, um, I know my friend um, Maple Leaf Mommy. Um, I could see her loving these. So these are Day of the Dead salt and pepper shakers. So I know there's quite a few of you out there that might really like these. So let me pull it out. Pull one out if I can. So you can see that. Look at this. Oh, down, upside down. Oh, told you it wasn't ready. Okay, so there you go. And then um, I'm telling you, she is going to flip over these because she loves stuff like that. She's my partner in crime on a couple other blogs as well. And uh, she loves Day of the Dead stuff. So look at that. Isn't that cool? Those are some really, um, really amazing salt and pepper shakers. They're awesome for um, adding a little special touch to your house. Um, I've seen quite a few uh, salt and pepper shakers from Hallmark that um, we we use the the Star Wars one in our house, and um, of course we love it, and the boys love it, and anybody who comes and visits loves it as well. Okay, so we get compliments on it all the time. And this is called the Spooky Ornament House. So it's like a wall hanging thing. And you can get different little ornaments to go with it. So I have here 
Dracula and Frankenstein and check this out. So I am just going to um, hang them on my house here. And um, obviously you take off the tags, but I'm just doing this to, to show really quickly. All right, so look at that. Isn't that cute? Okay, so that is that. Oh, and it stands up too. Look at this. It's got, um, so you can stand it up. It's got little folding out things, so it'll stand up and a little stand in the back. It's really cute. That'd be a good display piece. Okay, this next item, oh man, my little youngest one is going to flip out over. Look at this cute trick-or-treat bag. So uh, it's a spooky tote. So it'd be good for like um, toting a few things around too. Like it, I could see a teacher carrying this or whatever. But um, that'd be good for a small trick-or-treat bag for the little ones. Check out this little plaque. Isn't that cute? It says, come in for a bite. I love it. Okay, that's really cute for your front door. How awesome is he, right? Okay, I love that. Um, now these I could see um, my mother-in-law loving. It's a tea towel and um, oven mitt for um, Thanksgiving. Okay, so this has two in the set, two different ones. And it says, eat, drink, and be thankful. So these are great for Thanksgiving. Um, I could see my mother-in-law using this all year round and same with that. So uh, she's all about the cute, cute accessories for her kitchen. So um, this is a trick-or-treat bag for sure. And I'm sure my boys will be fighting over this. Three boys. Um, so I may have to pick up two more of these. It's a nice sturdy bag. And it's uh, seven dollars. It's sturdy, and it says trick or treat on it, and it's got a nice design. So you'll, we're always um, the boy, or the kids will always know what um, what it's for. So this one is a book, I believe. I know what it is because I think I've had one similar to this before. So yeah. So what it is? It's a. Uh, it's called the. Bells and Potions Treat Presenter. You open it up and you put your treats in there, okay? And um, you pull the little tab out. You see that tab and I wish I wasn't doing this backwards and confusing myself. So as you open it. That, so whenever you're um, opening your treats, it'll make a noise. Um, now I got this and these candles. These are four flameless wax covered LED candles. Oh, okay. I don't know what's in this other styrofoam, but these are going to be perfect. I think I'm just going to use them <laughs> in my house display and, um, well, as candles in my house. I have a whole bunch of candle um, holders and um, I don't have real candles because my cat likes to smell candles and um, set his whiskers on fire and his fur on fire. So we obviously have no candles in our house because, you know, we love him and we love our house. So, oh, this is pretty. Okay, there's two of these in here, and it has a little thing, so you put it in there, like that, and then we're going to put one of these. Oh, these are so pretty. Oh, I can see me having these out all winter because so nice. Okay, so it's got paper on here, but I'm just going to see if I can just put it... As you can see, I'm trying to open the paper here. All right, there we go. And on. 
All right, that was easy enough. Look how pretty that is. Best part, no flames. Okay, so look how pretty. That would be a beautiful display. And it has a second one in here as well. And um, let's see what my paper and the magic paper says. Oh, there it is right there. It's a medium candle holder. I think they're, uh, oh, you get small, medium, or large. Um, and then, um, so they're from 20 to $40, depending on the size. And um, they come, they're simple and elegant. This dual purpose basin candle holder will add elegance and style to any arrangement or table setting. Seriously, they are very beautiful. Um, I would, um, I have a display entertainment unit that I think they will look perfect on. So gorgeous, gorgeous pieces. So that's it. That's our um, Halloween box. And um, I would love to hear what your favorite items are. Bye, guys.